Hello folks, it's David Connolly here and I wanted to do a super quick tutorial on the bootstrap grid system because you know um, there was a time not so long ago when people had a mobile version of a website and a normal version of a website even as recently as about two or three months ago I was posting a tutorial series on jQuery mobile and up until very very recently when I was building websites I would have PHP figuring out if it was a mobile device and serving up a mobile site if it was and a desktop version if it wasn't. Folks, the times have changed and they have changed very quickly. Nowadays devices are coming in in so many different sizes that anyone who just goes with a mobile or a desktop is really oversimplifying the situation. I mean look at the size of some of those uh, Samsung Notes and then of course we've got the new big giant iPads that have came out so we need something a bit more sophisticated and Bootstrap 3 the grid system gives us that okay so the best way to understand this I think is to uh, show you a basic this is the most basic uh, installation of bootstrap possible okay uh, it's version 3 uh, so a lot of you folks will be familiar with this stuff here call dash md dash 12 and all of that okay I'll give this one a background color so that you can see what's happening here uh, so this is all standard right and you'll know that if it says 12 it means go the full length if it goes let's say 6 you'll know that it's half okay and so on so no surprises I'm sure you've already seen that before and that's uh, very cool indeed um, Let's imagine though, shall we, that we've got an on, well, in fact, I'll tell you what, forget about an online shop. Here's what we'll do. Let's chuck a headlight, uh, headline in and let's do some cool stuff. Let's make this MD12 again. And I'm going to say, uh, you are using a, a OG let's see a full-sized screen okay there we go there we go there we go um and here I'm gonna say you are using a medium sized screen this is really the best way I think to get your head around this stuff you know you're using a small size screen and you're using an extra small size screen okay so we've got four things here yellow backgrounds and there we go I'll take out this minimum height thing here just so you can see what's happening okay so stay cool stay cool and do something like that okay and let's give these things different colors so that we can see them and you know have a look at what's happening so we'll make uh, maybe make this one whoops maybe make this one lime or something like that and I'll make this one orange okay so four divs they're all using that MD12 full size and all of that no surprises right is everybody cool so far now one of the things that's really worth committing to memory is the way that bootstrap references these different screen sizes so let me just show you how this works if we're talking about a large screen or sorry a, a full size screen LG uh, is how bootstrap would refer to that okay a medium sized screen would be referred to as MD a small screen would be SM and extra small would be XS okay now one of the nice things about bootstrap that a lot of people don't realize is that you can hide different elements or show them depending on the size of the screen and it's very easy to do so for example this extra small uh, screen here okay I could say something like um, in, in this class thing I'm just going to say hidden dash LG if I save that and refresh the screen you'll see that this has disappeared because we are looking at a large display and I'm just on a laptop here right but you know as far as the web and all of that goes this is a large display 
and watch how if I shrink the display down, look at this, it reappears. Do you see that? So it reappears, okay? And then when we go full size, it disappears, okay? So that's uh, the way to do that is we say hidden and then a hyphen and then the screen size where we want this thing to hide, okay? Now, there's another interesting little command that we can use in Bootstrap. Uh, we've got hidden, but there's also one that's called visible, okay? So in this case, we had the thing hidden when it was a full size screen, but now if I refresh, uh, it's now visible when we have a full size screen, but look, if we shrink down, it disappears, okay? How cool is that? So we've got these two really cool commands, hidden and visible. And this really opens the doors to some awesome stuff because we can jump in here and we'll say something like, uh, let's see, a full size screen, visible LG. Okay, so that looks kind of cool. This one, I'm going to say visible MD. And then I'm going to say visible SM and then we'll have visible XS. So check this out. So now it says you're using a full size screen. As we go down, you're using a medium size screen. You head on down again, you're using a small size screen. And then finally, you're using an extra small size screen. This is the key, folks. This is the ticket. This is your gateway to some really, really cool stuff. And this is the key to building mobile-friendly websites in this day and age, at least in my opinion. And in fact, when you're building with Bootstrap, you should be constantly resizing like this, checking and looking, going back. How does it look here? How does this look? And that is the ticket, okay? Now, there's just one more thing I want to show you and then that'll be us finished. Just one more little trick that I think is very cool. Now, by the way, see this MD here and you're thinking, well, what's the deal here? This is kind of a default, so don't worry about that, okay? It's okay to just use MD for your normal day-to-day -day business and whatnot. But the other thing I wanted to show you was this. Let's imagine that we're building an online shop, okay? And I'll make some room here so we can see what's happening. And um, let's imagine that this page has got 12 items, okay? So I'm gonna just do that. And let's do something like that, okay? So go like that. Okay, and the way that a lot of people would probably do this is they would do something like that, okay? 12 items per page. And that's the kind of thing that they'd have, okay? Now, what I really wanted to show you guys, let me just get my act together here. Shall we do some background colors? Okay, so here, let's imagine that this is an online shop, okay? Um, and that's the the way that a lot of developers would typically arrange that. So when we shrink down here, you'll see that it goes from four uh, items per row suddenly to one, okay? So on medium, it's holding together, but then beyond that, we just get this here, okay? Um, you see that? So four to one. Well, you can actually do this a lot more gracefully if you want, because what you can do um, is take away all of these row things here, right? Because we really don't need them. It doesn't make a difference, actually. If I hit refresh, you'll see that it's exactly the same, right? And the vibe is we can chuck in a thing here. So I'm going to say, for example, I'm going to say when it's large, when it's a large display, 
then we'll do it this size, right? But when it's a medium display, call M, oops, M, D, when it's a medium display, let's jump up to size four. So watch what happens here. Now if we shrink down, do you see how it goes from four to three? Which is just a whole lot more graceful, okay? And we can go even further. We can go call dash MD, uh, sorry, let's go for small dash. And if it's small, we'll go with six, okay? So now if we go like this, so we go to three, then we go to two, and then finally, on the extra small we go to one and that is just so much more graceful than just going from four to one do you know what I mean so anyway that's pretty much the end of it and that that right there is the essence of the the grid system if you can understand that you know making things visible and all of that and um, hiding elements and if you can understand this vibe of adjusting the size depending on the screen width then you've got it you know and like I say this is the key this is the gateway to doing some really really cool mobile stuff sorry I mean mobile friendly stuff mobile friendly websites okay so that's us thank you very much I'll see you again soon bye